Peak Week Shredding Part 2. And in this video, I'm going to give you the exact food that you can consume based on the macros and calories that I had set you up in the previous video. All right, here we go. Monday and Tuesday are going to be the exact same. And again, we're going to front load those calories and we're going to be adding carbs, but we're also going to be adding sodium to the mix. Why sodium, Coach RJ? Well, we're going to have the sodium because we want your body to take in all that water and we want it to retain. So for those first two to three days, you're not going to feel or look like you're actually shredding. But if we put it in abundance on the front end, on the back end, your body's going to get rid of it and get rid of more of it. So trust the process and just follow along. Peak week plan. Here's a simple plan that you can follow based on the calories and the macros that I had sent you in the previous video. So we're gonna start it off with your green shake. You guys remember what a green shake is? It's 60 grams of spinach. It's gonna be blended with ice and water and then a green scoop to help with digestion and to cut the nasty taste of raw spinach. Then between noon and one, you're gonna have six ounces of lean protein. You can have baked chicken or tempeh if you're a vegetarian. You're gonna have two cups of raw veggies. I would just stick with spinach. Keep it simple if you can. If not, you can have broccoli or you can have any type of dark greens and you can add vinaigrette on top of it just so it's not nasty. The reason why it's gonna add bulk to your food and it's gonna keep you fuller for longer. Then I want you to pair that with two pickles because the pickles are gonna add sodium crunch at a low calorie method that's gonna absorb some of this water that you're consuming and it's gonna keep you fuller longer. Along with this meal between 12 and 1 p.m., I like to pair it with the Neri's bar and a protein shake, or you can do the protein shake with a Maria waffle, two Maria waffles exact, or if you don't have access to either of those, protein shake with two rice cakes, little bit of Nutella, little bit of honey, little bit of peanut butter, okay? So that's gonna give you your high carb, high calories. Then at 4 p.m. is gonna be your last meal, but you're gonna have six ounces of lean protein, exactly like meal number one, with the two cups of raw veggies, but, I want you to add a cup of rice or one medium potato, and then you're gonna have your pickles. Now again, this is a plan based on that specific calories and macros that I sent you in, in video one. This might not be the right calories for you, but this is giving you an idea of how it's going to look. Then on Wednesday, we're gonna have a similar, but we're cutting out all the salt, and then your last meal isn't going to have any carbs. Okay, now if you have trouble on Monday, Tuesday, where you get hungry past 4 p.m., then feel free to add another thing of greens. I'm not worried even if you add spinach or drink EAA so that you get that sweet taste and your body feels like it's actually eating something. And then you can fast until the next day on Wednesday between 10 and 11 where we're gonna have that same green shake. It's gonna be in the water, ice blended with the green scoop. At 1 p.m., you're gonna have six ounces of lean protein. You're gonna do the two cups of raw veggies of your choice. You're gonna have your Neri bar or Maria waffles. And then at 3 p.m., we're gonna continue on with the same thing where you're gonna have the protein shake with the Neri bar or the Maria waffles. Now at 7 p.m., you're gonna have six ounces of lean protein, such as chicken, beef, pork, whatever you prefer, or tempeh with the two cups of raw veggies, but we're not gonna have the rice and potato. And on this day, you've noticed that we've now removed the pickles. So I no longer want you to put Frank's hot sauce on it, soy sauce, or have any extra pickles. It's just gonna be focused on the raw food. Now on Thursday is where we're gonna cut the carbs further and we're gonna normalize the salt. So again, no soy sauce, no Frank's, no pickles. At 10, you're gonna still have your green shake. At 1 p.m., you're gonna still have your lean protein and you're gonna still have your one Neri bar or Maria waffles. But at 3 p.m., we're just gonna have the protein shake. And then at 7 p.m., you're just gonna have the veggies and the six ounces of lean protein. We're almost there, we're on Friday. Okay, so on Friday, we're gonna front load the high protein calories, but then we're gonna back load all of our fillers like the shakes. So at 10 to 11 a.m., instead of having your green shake, you're gonna have about 200 grams of egg whites. You're gonna blend in some spinach or cook up some spinach and at this point, you can add just a dab of sriracha sauce just for flavor. If you don't need the sriracha sauce, don't add it, but if you do, it's not a big deal. Then at 1 p.m., you're gonna have your six ounces of lean protein, so your chicken or your tempeh, that's it. Then, 3 p.m., we're gonna sip on the 60 grams of spinach, blend it with ice, greens, scoop of water, scoop, scoop of EAAs, and then after that, 
we're gonna start to cut our water. So what you can have is one to two scoops of EAAs if you cannot fast until the next day. Now the last day before your photo shoot or your weigh-in where we're just focusing on keeping your energy high, keeping your morale high, and filling the muscles with carbs. So we've cut out the water, we've cut out the carbs for a few days. Now three hours prior, you can have one Nary bar or two Maria waffles or the rice cake with the peanut butter and the, the honey. And you can have your coffee and that's it. We wanna do it about three hours prior so that the muscles get all vascular, they get fed, they feel good. Now, if you follow this peak week plan and just alter it based on the calories that your coach sends you, you're gonna see probably anywhere from two to four pounds of weight and probably one to three pounds of fat shredded in this peak week. Let's get it.